Shaboy Sai, stay tuned. There's a Gavaldiga podcast, Rabbi Steve Geller, does a Gavaldiga Zach, and that'll be coming out this week. Torah Giants on Chumash. Shalom of Rach, and welcome to the weekly piece on the Parsha from Torah Giants on Chumash, written by Rabbi Yitzchak Mayor Gunman, the Rabbi Meredith of the Yonis of Rockway. Sit back and Welcome to Torah Giants on Chumash. I'm Steve Geller. In the aftermath of the episode of Pinchas, Hashem once again tells Moshe to take a census of Bnei Yisrael. Rashi, at the beginning of Bamidbar, during another census, explains why Hashem counts the Jews. Because we are dear to Him, He counts us every now and then. Because we are dear to Him, Hashem counts us. But what is the special aspect of Bnei Yisrael that makes us so dear to Hashem? We could say it's the fact that we accepted the Torah and lived Torah lives. And that's certainly enough to explain Rashi. The Torah was the impetus for the creation of the world. So there is obviously something very deep and profound to our relationship with Hashem because we accepted his Torah. But then if we think about it, if Hashem counts us because we're dear to him, and if we're dear to him because we accept it and keep his Torah, wouldn't it make sense that some sign of that appreciation for us keeping the Torah appears in the counting itself? Well, Rabbi Goodman brings us an analysis from Harav Chaim Michal Dov Weismendal that delivers on this in a magical way. Let's take another look at our Parsha. In chapter 26, beginning with Ruvain in verse 5, concluding with Levi in verse 58, those 53 psukim mention 65 branches of families of Bnei Yisrael. Each family name is introduced with a hey and ends with a yud. Here are some examples. Chanoch is written ha-chanochi. Chetzron is ha-chetzroni. Karmi is Hakarmi. This continues for all 65 branches of families. Rashi quotes Chazal to explain why these two letters, the short name of Hashem, were inserted. The nations mocked the Jews by arguing that surely there were many Egyptian genes in their children from years of abuse at the hands of their persecutors. Placing his name around these families, Hashem testified to the purity of his people. The names that already end in Yud, like we saw with Karmi, did not need the extra letter. No names began with hey, but we may presume that if there were, they would not have an added letter either. With this introduction, we're ready for the startling discovery of Rav Weismandal of Bible Code fame. Counting all the letters of the names of these families, leaving out the added two letters of Hashem's name, but including any Yud which was part of a name, such as Karmi, the sum is 248. 248 is the exact number of positive mitzvahs in the Torah. Now, adding back the additional letters totaled 117, which were used to put Hashem's name into each family. 117 plus 248 is 365. 365 is the exact number of negative commandments in the Torah. So within the counting of B'nai Israel, within the counting of Hashem as people dear to him is the acknowledgement that we are in fact the keepers of Hashem's Torah. Because those 248 positive mitzvos and 365 negative mitzvos, of course, adds up to 613. Just amazing. And how can you keep something so amazing to yourself? Sharing this with friends and family couldn't be easier. Just like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the share button, which copies the link to this video, allowing you to paste it into Facebook posts, emails, texts, or WhatsApp groups. They'll all appreciate you for it, and it helps realize the potential of Rabbi Goodman's life's work, Torah Giants on Chumash. We go to yeshiva to learn, that's Torah. We seek closeness to gedolim, that's Torah. We daven for inspiration and v'sein chalkenu b'sorasecha, that's Torah. We come up with chidushim in our own learning, that's Torah. Maybe. Share your chidushim. Send your original Torah pieces to torahmaybe at gmail.com or email that address for more information. Also visit www.youtube.com slash at torahmaybe.